Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, joined by Brits of Anomyces, checking out another beer we got from Nathaniel over in Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is another La Cumbre beer. I love La Cumbre, and we, of course, don't drink it here because we can't get it in Europe. But when I studied in Albuquerque, it was like the go-to brewery. We would go there on the weekends and fill growlers. Uh, back then, that was before they did cans and, and bottles. So when I was there, that was the only thing. They had food trucks outside. It's a classic, you know, American microbrewery thing. And they just made really good beer, especially their IPAs. Yeah. Uh, their IPAs, West Coast stuff, was great. They won a gold medal, I remember, a few years after I was there for Elevated IPA, which is fantastic. And uh, since then, Nathaniel and Dalton sent me packages with some of their stuff, like Full Nelson, uh, oh no, Father Nelson was the name back then, I think. And then, what was it, Project Dank, which was a just a hop project where they experimented with new hops, but mm. making like really dang IPAs, West yeah. Coast IPAs. And they made really nice stuff, but for some reason it never really got, you know, more than like regional acknowledgement. Well, I think Great American Beer Fest, the gold medal is very big acknowledgement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they never be really became hyped, which I think is a shame because they made really good beers and still do. Uh, and today though, we're checking out, I think their first canned hazy IPA. So they also dwelled into hazy IPAs. Yeah. And uh, we've got a few to try, but this was the first one they ever did. It's a little more than, a, it's like a month and a half, almost two months old. Maybe. What? We don't really know because, no. yeah. But it's, it's been kind of it, it, Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's they a, one they do often. very often. But uh, this is their Sun Fade. And my shirt is very fitting, my new Star Wars <laughs> shirt. It's yeah. got a fading sun. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it's a hazy IPA. Uh, and that's all there is of you know info on there. There's no talk of hops or anything, not even uh, on their website. And yeah, canned by La Cumbre Brewing Company in Albuquerque, New Mexico. But 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 there is no ABV on the can, and that's fun because that used to always be ABVs on their beers, as far as I remember. Mm, but it's probably six or seven. Yeah, and it's one of these state regulations, I guess, where it's maybe not a necessity, but. Uh, 6.5. Ah. So classic hazy IPA territory. Yeah. There's a lot of bugs going around right now. Yes. I don't know. It's bug season. So we're here. moving inside very soon yeah. because we're being like eaten up and eaten it's up. getting cold. By baby mosquitoes, actually. Yeah. A yeah. Lot of them. But it looks very nice. Very, like, this is usually one of my preferred colors when you're yeah. IPAs. That like hazy, hazy, golden, yellow, slightly orange. Yeah. Because it just signifies that there's going to be a bit of brightness. Yeah. But it's that middle range. Yeah. Yeah. And a nice white head to it as well. Yeah. Let's check out the aroma. Also quite bright. Quite bright, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like the one we just had. But it, more orangey. Yeah. Definitely, and definitely more tropical and overripe. Mm. It's got a little more oomph to it. Yeah. But it's also 6.5%. Yeah. But it's very orangey, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Almost like creamsicle. Uh, I'm also yeah. getting definitely sweet mango. And I'm getting sweet papaya. It's overripe, but it has some singiness to it as well. Like a brightness, like a bright dankness. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of kiwi. But yeah. But Ooh, papaya yeah. also has that kind of green thing about mm -hmm. it, like kiwi has. Yeah, definitely some dankness, but it's a mild dankness. One of the big things I remember, like the kumbra beers were quite dank. But yeah. this is a bit milder, but it's still there. To me, it's nice. primarily orange and kiwi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's very it smells nice. very nice. Yeah, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks a ton, Nathaniel. More bright on the flavor, actually. Mm -hmm. Lemony, Very limey, and singy. Mm. And a bit of a dankness. Just like kiwi, I see, too. There's a bit of like grapefruit on the Pleasantly gra like grasps your, your palate, like, you know. Yeah. A little bit of a, an herbal yeah. touch, too. Yeah, but mostly crazy. like a grapefruity Yeah, grapefruit. Thing. Yeah. yeah. It's almost, it's, I don't know if this is elevated done hazy, mm. but it's got a little bit of a West Coasty kind of vibe to it. It's probably not. Yeah. It's probably a completely different beer, but it has like that West Coasty grape. A lot of dryness. Yes, and again dryness, which is nice. And then, mm -hmm. but more sweetness than what we just had. Yeah. But this kind of grapefruit, pithy, citrus thing is definitely on the forefront. And there's lots of sweet citrus, and then a, I think a good kick of dankness. Yeah, and to me, it's not as sweet as like a. a, a like a ripe kiwi, but no, nope. it's maybe a bit I of like an un thing. unripened kiwi yeah, kind of thing. I can see that. 
Yep, or maybe even a gooseberry or something like that, but then it's just the like cut very, just very, quickly. very tart and sour. Yeah, so. but I'm getting that tart. Maybe it's more of a grape thing, but mm. it's like it's just for sick and then it splits into like the kind of bitter, oily grapefruit thing, which is mm. it's almost like you did a West Coast New England hybrid, I think. Yeah, because it has, it has like a dusty dryness to it. Yeah, kind of like a white grape kind yeah. of. Yeah, almost like Nelson, but I don't. It doesn't get into that know. completely like really earthy thing of. of sometimes uh, gotten from from especially equinox yeah but um yeah it's that like dusty white grape yeah. thing a touch like very very light lightly chalky yeah it's very light yeah on the afro taste yeah like that water that treatment kind yeah. of thing but nothing crazy mm -mm. but i th i think it's it's nice yeah it ta i it tastes like, you know, a little, probably like around a month and a half or two months in terms of age. Yes, but I think it's it's still pretty, like, lively, like, yeah, flavor so. profile. Yeah, and, yeah, and it's still... I'm glad like, they held up, because yeah. even though they were stuck in customs and they were, you know, took yeah. a while to get here. But. but a lot of kiwi and orange in the aroma, especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, it's almost like hybrid yeah. kind of stuff. Mm. But it's nice. I, th I think, you know, I think... Thinking back, I probably preferred elevated a bit more because I just maybe it's also a different time, you know, and everything. I just adore that beer a lot, but mm. I think it's still a very nice New England IPA. But I'm thinking like a straight 90. I think it's a very good New England IPA. It it's just to the bright side with a bit of West Coast flair, and that's all fine by me. It's not mm. all sweet gushing juice. Yeah, so yeah. I'm thinking a straight 90. It it it's it's definitely a pleasant dryness. It doesn't get into that super chalky water treatment kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's a straight ninety, like four on untapped, maybe. Yeah, yeah. small four on yeah. untapped. And I think I wonder how it is fresher. If it's more like popping on. Yes, yeah, like probably just juicy, more popping. Yeah, yeah. But it's nice. So yeah. nice. Another it's fun to see like Cumbre drive into you know the hazy stuff, and it'll be fun with the others because they have some cool hops. Mm. That we actually know the hops, the double IPAs. Yeah. So. If you guys had a chance to try the Cumbres Sunfade Hazy IPA, let us know what you thought of it. If you're in Albuquerque, New Mexico, you can probably get this all the time. And if you like your dry, hazy IPAs, this is something for you. So mm. thanks a ton for the beer, Nathaniel. It's fun to try. We're going to try probably the... Well, we're going to have some food first. Yeah. And then we're going to try the double IPAs, too. So, yeah, awesome stuff. Thanks a ton, bro. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And remember to ring the bell to get notifications of future videos. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.